Dylan does Denmark. I'm here with Ulla Henriksen to do the famous Scandinavian cold plunge. I'm going into the water. Ready? But thought teaming this creator up with one of America's most beloved beers was gonna be a good idea. Now that right there was Dylan Mulvaney, a well-known advocate for the LGBTQ plus rights. And uh, well, they recently teamed up with Bud Light to promote a new line of, uh, well, gender-inclusive beer cans. Now the cans, they feature Mulvaney's face alongside the slogan, cheers to being yourself. Now I can't think of anything more homophobic than beer drinkers, right? I mean, stereotypically, I don't think that's what they want to be putting their lips against just saying however the partnership it has drawn criticism from some quarters with conservative programs calling for a boycott of the brand now bud light it's not backing down but then kid rock came out of nowhere and he opened fire on a whole case of bud light Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. So yeah, things are escalating quickly. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden back with another episode of Famous News. Now wherever you're watching this video, be sure to give us a follow. And uh, well, if you see me out and about, be sure to buy me a Budweiser. Wait, actually, let's go with uh, a Molson Canadian. Although these days I'm mostly like a sober dad or I'm in dad mode. But still, I'd appreciate the offer. All right, let's get into this video. Conservative commentator John Cardillo, well, he asked who the hell at Bud Light thought it was a good idea to make a grown man who dresses like little girls their new spokesperson brands have to stop listening to their woke creative teams and get in touch with their consumer demographics it's very true i know that like i enjoy a bud light because it's lighter on the stomach and lighter on the head you know what i mean anyway now, as for Bud Light, well, in a statement released yesterday, the company said, we're proud to stand with Dylan Mulvaney and support the LGBTQ plus community. Our partnership is based on a shared commitment to inclusivity and acceptance. Now, the statement, it has been met with mixed reactions, with some praising Bud Light for its stance, while others have vowed to boycott the brand. There was a viral news story out of, like, near where I filmed these videos, and there was a guy yelling at the government, two liters of pop! What's going to kill you? Two liters of pop or four beers? I don't know. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, remind me of that. Now, Mulvani, for their part, well, she's been overwhelmed by the response to the partnership. In a tweet, they wrote, I am humbled and grateful for the support of Bud Light and everyone who has stood with me. We will continue to fight for a world where everyone can be themselves. And to add further fuel to the flame, well, all of a sudden, Kid Rock came out of nowhere and he decided to actually open fire on his Bud Lights. So I guess we know where he stands. But, uh, uh, how about you? What do you think? Do you think this was a, a good partnership? I mean, uh, uh, I'm sure brands are going to be looking for influencers to partner with after seeing the success of Prime. But then I looked at the numbers that Dylan is uh, promoting there. You know, half a million on TikTok. I can do that in my sleep. So it's not really that much of a, I'm sure they got them cheap. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in another video.